Today's video is sponsored by Sophie and Toffee. Hey Greens, welcome to trying weird things because I can. In a previous video, I did how to make your own pins at home kit and it just so happened to be absolutely adorable based on the uh, Kirby character and so many of you Greens loved that video. So I figured, let me try something similar. And I present to you, make your own stationary kit. Similarly to the previous one, this one is also from Japan. It has these cute characters. I'm not sure what's going on, so you and I, we gonna find out together. And not just that the box looks absolutely adorable, but as we can see on the front, it looks like we can make envelopes or envelopes. How do you say it? Let me know in the comment section below. I say envelopes, but I know some of you say envelopes. But it also looks like we can make our own notebook. I'm not sure if we can make the notebook or if they're included and we could just cuss it. I don't know. I don't know. You and I are going to find out together. I'm also not sure if these are stamps or if they're hole punchy things. I mean, we have cute characters. I just don't, I don't know anything. Actually, I should have called today's episode. Welcome to today's episode called, I don't know what's going on. But, oh my god, do we get a slicer? You know, like the paper cutter thing? Because if that's the case, that means that they are giving small hands some sharp things to play with. Is it gonna be Jackie proof? As I said at the beginning of this video, I don't know what's going on. And to make it even more interesting, this kit is actually brought to us by Sega. Yes, the video game company that also brought us Sonic the Hedgehog. And when we turn the box around, again, we see an idea of the different types of projects that we can do in here. Look, if I can make some cute stationery, by the end of today's video, I'm going to select five random grains from the comment section, and I will send you a letter that I will have made with one of these. So if you want a chance to get a letter from me with this thing, make sure you leave a comment down below about what's your favorite stationery. Do you like pencils? Do you like letters? Do you like stickers? That's what I'm here for. And by the way, for those of you new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe. We do all sorts of weird, wacky things on this channel. But the only consistent thing is my waving of a sharp, pointy thing, which you will come to enjoy. Click on all notifications while you're there. And so without further delay, at $35, let's go ahead and see what we get inside. By the way, on the box, it clearly says, for sale in Japan only. Sorry, Japan, nothing gets away from me. If I want it and it's from Japan, I gon' get it. What you gonna do about it? You wanna fight? You wanna fight? Come, come here. I can fight you. Actually, don't. I'm very fragile. <clears throat> Here's what we get inside. We get the cutting machine, which basically looks... What the heck? Is it broken? Okay, what? Okay, so I did not notice this from the box, but it seems like the cutting board actually turns. Yeah, okay. Okay, we're gonna try each and every single one of these because I have no idea what they do. I'm gonna guess this is a cutting. Oh, this is really hard to push. Okay, this is a cut, my guess. I'm not sure what this is for. Well, these are not easy. Squiggly and I'm not sure why there's two. This is what we have. Next we have this thing here, which I'm guessing is for the stamp fit. Wait, these are not stamps. These are cutters. <gasps> Hole punchers. We have the bear character, the penguin character. So this is the punchy way. But is that a book? Look at that. Over here we have a little book. That's cute, right here. And then we have this little dude, which I have no idea what character it's supposed to represent. It just kind of looks like a dinosaur, maybe a fish, I say. So I'm guessing we put it here and then we push down. Yeah, okay, still not sure what to do with all of this, but at least it's a cute organizer for now. And then the thing that totally caught me off guard is how tiny this stationer is. It's so small. Normally little things are cute. And then in other occasions, which I'm sure some of you gutter brains gravitated towards. Some things are better in their original size. 
So as you can see here, the little stationery is absolutely adorable, very colorful, but nonetheless really small. I mean, some of these things are cute because you get to pretend to have movie tickets and even train tickets, but look, these are the envelopes. I mean, don't get me wrong, these are adorable, probably great for gifting if you're going to put it on a, a present or anything like that. They're still pretty cute. But I'm pretty sure if I were to mail this, they would never arrive. So don't worry, I'm still gonna write the letters. I'm just going to put them in a bigger one for you. So I'm gonna have a letter within a letter. And even the stationery to write the letters on are so tiny. They're cute. Look, I understand they're cute, okay? I know as much as many of you grains are into the Mariah Elizabeth stationery that I did in the last video, the same thing. I'm dark in my soul. But I have a soft spot for cute things and colorful things. So love you. And remember the notebooks that we saw on the front cover? Let's see that again. Never did I imagine that they would be this tiny. Look at that. Here's my finger for measure, my sausage fingers. And here they are. So we're gonna try to make a notebook because this looks complicated as heck. And then we get more papers with different kinds of stationery, good luck charms, and whatnots. And um, mm. The instruction sheet tells us that in order to make the notebook we're gonna have to do some interesting origami i have no idea how we're gonna do it but we're gonna try oh my god stickers i love stickers so much i'm gonna die we get some really adorable stickers they're so tiny i mean they technically have to match the stationery but look at them i said look at them yeah these that's definitely right up oh my god it's giving it's a hug oh and then we get little stands so that you can put your stationery in their hand kind of thing and a folder that you can somewhat put together cute it is confusing also it is so let's start by experimenting with this thing and seeing the different kinds of cuts it gives us let's go ahead and bring in take two champignon this here is my own little stationery cute blue paper and even cuter slash weirder envelope maybe i'll send them out in this I mean, that little duck is really living its life here. It's almost going Wee! All right, duck, that's enough fun. Okay, so how do I how do I do this? Okay, so let's insert the paper here. Wait, what do I do with these? Interesting, these are actually spares for the cutting mat, so in case we ruin this strip down here, we have extras. I don't know how quickly we're going to ruin it, but knowing me, it's possible within the first video. All right, so we're going to put our sheet of paper right here, and we're going to start with these straight cuts. So I know that in the instructions, it's said to hold down here, and then we pull. Did that work? Oh, okay. Okay. How do I how do I get you out? There you go. Holy car. So that is quite sharp. I did not expect it to work this well. I don't know if it's straight enough, but let's go ahead and try the next one. Let's turn it to the choppy one. All right. And insert again. Let's do this. Pushing down and pulling. What did that do? Oh, is that what I think it is? Is that when you get like a ticket and you pull one end off? Is that is oh what is that <laughs> what i didn't even know they made machines for that i know i know they were industrial i just didn't think okay, that's cool i am very easily entertained but that was cool let me try again so we're gonna put this here get a little closer and in and back and pull it back so we have that little strip over here and that was very satisfying. I don't know why, but it was. All right, that was that was really neat. I have to say, I'm probably gonna end up keeping this, not donating it like most of the stuff I get. All right, and then we have a squiggly one. There we go, and holding it down, and let's go. Eh. Oh, that is hard. I don't know why why it's so hard to do. Oh, okay. Doesn't seem to have worked very. Yeah, that. Or it did it. No. Eh. So we got a nice cut at the beginning and then at the end and all here is just basically me roughing it out. I can be rough sometimes. Let's try that again. All right, in here, holding it down and back and forth. I don't know if we need to do it multiple times, but let's see what that looks like. It looks much better already. Oh, okay. That is a smooth squiggly, squiggly, squiggly line. <laughs> what was I even trying to say? Squiggly diddly diddly line. Yeah, that is definitely absolutely adorable. I'm liking this. 
And then we have this double cut. So I'm wondering if it's just basically cutting down the middle to create some other pattern. I don't know. I don't even know what I'm saying at this point. I'm just very excited to use this. All right, and pull down and up. Let me do it a couple of times. And, and, oh, is that, is that a fold? What is it? What is that? I think it's a fold. Instructions help. Interestingly enough, the instructions didn't tell me what each of the cutty things is. So I went onto the box and found that it had an error. I just didn't notice it. And the straight one is for Shokusen straight line. Bottom is a dotted line. So that little dotted one. This is the wavy line. And the one that we're looking for is a folded line. So, okay, I was right, but it just didn't feel very foldy. You might have to go on it a few times, maybe even press downwards because I wasn't really pressing down. So I feel like we need to try this again. So I'm gonna do it here and I'm actually gonna press down. This is if I do back and forth like so. And yeah, there you go. Much easier to fold, much easier. I get it now. But wait, before we go on, let's talk about today's sponsor, Sophie and Toffee. I'm Jackie, what is Sophie and Toffee? Ah, I am glad you asked. Sophie and Toffee is a monthly subscription box of absolutely fun craft supplies usually centered around the theme of resin. However, however, today Sophie and Toffee would love to present you the Pixie Box, which is a monthly surprise box full of the most trendy craft supplies with 20 different items. So unlike the Elves Box, which has actually exclusive Sophie and Toffee items, this one does not include resin. So you're getting more of the different fun items. So you get to experiment with things like polymer clay, soap making, and hey, it's even cheaper than their main box. Starting at $38.95 with $5 shipping, but if you use the code NERDY10, you save up to 20% on your subscription. And of course, the more you subscribe, 3, 6, or 12 months, the more you save. And even though this box is pretty new, look at the amazing reviews already on their website, such as Debbie, awesome, great value, and perfect, or Allison, who says it is a very good idea. So whether you're looking for something for yourself, if you're a beginner or even advanced, for Christmas since it's really creeping around the corner, or for someone else, Else. Then check out the pixie box because the current theme is dream and wonder. Let's make something from my box. A mini beach gem environment, some UV resin, this gorgeous sand, Inyago, mixy mixy, a wee shell, bye bye. Yes, these pearls. One, two, three. Shine the light and time to unmold. Ah, oh, that is so pretty. You can make a hole right there and turn these into a pair of earrings and make a second one, of course. So check the link down below and use the code NERDY10 for 20% off your subscription. Thank you, Sophie and Toffee, for being huge supporters of this channel and sponsoring today's video. And now let's go ahead and test this thing over here. I kinda got startled. <laughs> okay, so let's see how this is done. Okay, so we have to put the thing here, like so, like this, and then we push down. And, oh my god! <laughs> oh, that is cute! I mean, very well. Very nice. Oh my god! <laughs> that is so cute! I wonder, can you bend it to kind of close the letter? I don't know. So here's the bear. Let's try the other ones. Oh! So we have the little pieces and bits down there. Let's go for the penguin. Oop, like the saw. There we go. And punch. And that is cute. This here is premium stationery. <laughs> Honestly, for $35, I'm having a lot of fun with this. And for those of you wondering, yes, I did get it from Amazon Japan, which is accessible for you to buy now, even if you're in North America. And let's go for our last design, our little dinosaur -y character. And how we looking? Very cute. Kind of got the four leaf clover on its face though. But yeah, these are adorable. All right, so here's the order we're going to try these tiny challenges. First, we're going to try and make an envelope that already includes the leather, the leather, <laughs> the letter attached to it. Wow, I can't enunciate. So it basically seems like we're going to fold the letter into the envelope and then close it up, I think. I believe so. Maybe I'm wrong. We'll see what that looks like. And then we're going to try to make this weird thing here that is basically a lot of folds so that it becomes a closed letter. So a folded closed letter. I've never done this before, so I have no idea what it's gonna look like, but we do have to put a sticker, so I'm ready for it. My body is ready for stickers. In case some of you are wondering, but Jackie didn't give us the tape to close the things. 
actually, that's exactly what I thought too. But then I thought this was one strip of tape. But upon further investigation, these are separate pieces of tape that you can use to close all the other stuff bonus points because I had brought my own tape just in case but no oh, they supplied and then the last thing I would like to attempt is the notebook I mean it looks like we don't need to cut anything other than just the strip right here so it's going to be a lot of folding and then creating a notebook and hey if you grains like it you, you might as well steal the template I'll show it to you just do it however way you want in case you want to make it for your figurine all right, you know what? I think I'm pretty wrong. I think this is just a standard envelope. So let's go ahead and center this like a so. Hold it down and cut. Hopefully this is as precise as I think it is. I hope I didn't ruin the other one. Come out, go back up, try again. Oh my God. Yeah, that is the thing. Oh, did it? All right, all right, all right. Oh, so that is pretty precise. I was starting to lose hope on me. So let's, let's go pink because everything else is blue. Oh, this is good. This here is going to be the challenge. How do I do that? Am I not supposed to cut this off? Yes, I am. Okay. All right, so let's bring this straight down the middle. I think that's good. I think. <laughs> I think so. And pull. Oh. And back close enough. That is pretty close. I think I may have moved. But in all honesty, it's very wobbly. Just to push it down is like... Okay. Okay. This is a little bit more challenging. There you go. There. Down. And pull. There we go. Very cute. Not precise, but not bad. Oh, I think we need to do the foldy thing. Okay, yeah, we need to do the foldy thing. Even though technically I could do it, but let's use the machine as it's supposed to be. Foldy time. How do I get these out? <sighs> there. Like so. Wait, the other way. No, that way. Ah, I see the double line. I get it. Okay. Is it centered? I think so. All right, let's do that a few times. Next one. And back and forth. <clears throat> And yes, that is way easy. Look at that. Super cute. Okay, we have our envelope. Let's put the tape. Since it's pink, let's continue with the theme of pink. This one here. And we're going to put it like a so. And like a so. It's a lot of gap. Don't put your cash in there. It'll fall right off. And here is our cute first envelope. The bending. There you go. Very cute. And now for the tiny stationery, basically where I'm going to write your little messages. I'm just cutting it with the cutter part. And of course, let's add some stuff. Stickers? What's a letter without stickers? And a little shrimpy right here. <laughs> That's cute. And in the envelope, you go. Hopefully it fits. Is it too big? Is it too big? Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god it is it is struggling oh we made it oh no we did not <laughs> oh let me trim a little so we were pretty close minus this tiny bit let's see if that helps eventually and i had to trim just a little bit more than what they recommended but it's in and one more sticker to seal it there we go and so i went ahead and did two other absolutely adorable letter envelope sticker notes but now, the other two, I want to make them different, which is the foldy letter. Basically, we're supposed to cut strips and then fold them so they look like that and seal it with a sticker. All right, so first things first is we're going to take our sheet. Oh, that is a long piece. Like a so. I think it's centered. I think so. Okay, holding it down and eh, there. Slice. Did it work? Yes. And now we go and do it with the foldies. So here it is centered. Turns a dial. Okay. And if I'm not mistaken, we're just gonna... Eh, yeah. There. Eh, come on. Go back and forth until that stuff is bendy as heck. Very nice. Next one. Where'd it go? Oh, whoops. Missed the first one. And back and forth. And the other two. Okay, so the first two have to be inwards, like this well the first one inwards this one outwards the bendy is really easy but the only thing that bothers me is the lack of precision because i'm trying to see it through the camera screen and i'm not sure if it's a line let's do the other side in and out <gasps> that is cute but yeah look it's not aligned <laughs> there you go that's aligned so i'm gonna just pretend i bent it this way so nothing cute look at that <gasps> oh my god that is cute you can tell I don't play with paper a lot, which means I'm very easily entertained, which could be a good thing, right? So similarly to that one, I went ahead and wrote a little note and sealed the deal with a sticker. And of course, I said I would make five letters, so I did a second one of this style. And now, on to the notebook. Look at me, that is the one I am the most worried about. 
Okay, so let me try to explain this as best as I understood it because as we can see here There are fold lines and then this is a cut line So let's separate the two halves first because they make two notebooks bring this back turn it into a cutty line and Separate voila. Oops. Did I take some of the green? No, very nice and this is what the template looks like in case your grains want to remake this. I don't know what universe is. It's probably easier to do it different ways, but let's try their way. And according to Google Translate, the first we're going to make the foldy lines. Bring this back. Turn first. Second, third, fourth, and I lost count. Let's just keep going. And now we're going to bend it in half. Oh, that is not a very good half. Whoops. <laughs> I obviously missed the mark, so I'm just going to scooch it just, just a little. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my god. Oh, that is bothering me more than it should. There. Okay, it's a new line. <laughs> okay, this is where it gets complicated. Now we're gonna turn the cutter and we're gonna cut down this line, which is basically both sides at the same time. So let's scooch it in here and I have the cutter and... Oh my god. How do I know when to stop? Like this? Is this enough? I think. Oh wow, what luck! <laughs> I got it! Alright, this is where it gets origami-ish. So now it says put it back and fold it in half. Open the center and fold it flat. Put it back and fold it in half. Open the center and fold it flat. What? <laughs> okay, so put it back. I'm guessing put it back means open it. Fold it in half. Oh, wait, is that the square? Okay, it's supposed to be a square and then we just need to fold it. So square like this. Oh! Oh wow, that is cricket. <laughs> Oh my god, that is crooked here. If everything is right, then we should have the front cover. Okay. Oh, <laughs> the back cover. Oh, that is ugly. What did I do? Let me try and fix it. Oh no. What did I do? It must be the foldy lines. I got this. Six hours later. So I tried to fix it as much as possible, but because the lines are so bendy at this point, I might actually recommend that you fold it by hand if you have better control. I'm just saying. But it is pretty cute. I mean, here's our front. Here's our two pages that are similar. Next two pages that are similar. You can make a mini comic book with this or a mini storybook. Super cute. But that is very unaligned. No doubt about it. And so basically, I'm pretty happy that I got to do these letters. This this kit exceeded my expectations. I am a full grown grain. Full grown grain. That is that is a mouthful. And I have to admit, I had a lot of fun using this, especially the dotted terrible, well not terrible, they're not bad. I mean like tearing a bull to paper. You know what I mean, that one. And I'm looking forward to reading your comments about your favorite stationaries and to send you grains the mini letters that I put together. I may or may not add extra pieces that you can tear, like little, little things that you can, you know, like little tickets and whatnot. So you can have your own little tearing fun. So I would say even though this is not a cash or trash I'm gonna say that this here is worth your cash 100% I had so much fun I didn't realize it's been quite a few hours and I'm just sitting here enjoying it If you want to watch the previous Japanese craft kit that I absolutely loved Make sure you check up here, which is the button maker And if you want to watch something different, maybe a little crafty Make sure you check down here until then I will see you grains in the next video <laughs>